Welcome guys to a brief overview of the Mercedes command system. We are in the cockpit of the 2011 Mercedes-Benz E350 and I uh, was going to give you a general little overview of the Mercedes command system. So we'll uh, take a look over here. What we're looking at now is the main menu interface for the Mercedes command system. Um, this whole system is controlled primarily through a joystick. That is the Mercedes-Benz joystick for the command system. You'll take a look, we have the back button, we have a clear button, and then this uh, joystick itself. It can be pushed down, forward, backward, right, left. You can twist it, and uh, essentially 360 degrees of movement. And uh, what this does, it helps you navigate the different menus of the command system. So if as I'm rotating it side to side, if we look back up at the main menu, I'm changing my radio stations. So it's a radio tuner. Um, you also see that uh, we have the different menu options available. If I push the menu, or the joystick, excuse me, forward, it's going to put me in the top part of the menu. Right now it's highlighting navigation. And if I scroll it over, you get audio, phone, video, and system. Video is like a DVD player. I haven't really experimented with it yet. If I uh, want to go to navigation, I go over the navigation screen, I push down on the joystick, and that'll bring up my navigation menu. If I rotate the joystick back and forth, or, or the, I can uh, zoom in and out of the map, um, different levels. And to get back into the uh, options menu, I push down on the joystick. I can go, if I push the joystick backward, I can go through the different options in navigation. Um, this will give me a live traffic uh, report on different freeways. I apologize, it's kind of hard to see these. And uh, if I click on one of these, give me different uh, traffic updates. If I uh, push it back towards the middle and dab down, I'll go back to full screen. If I push the joystick back down and go up to the main menu, we can go, uh, again there's navigation, we'll scroll over, go to audio. Right now I'm in radio. Again, you can rotate the uh, joystick back and forth to go through your different radio stations. Um, another way, you can, if I tap down again, or excuse me, if I push forward, back to audio and tap down on audio, I can also pick my other options, satellite radio, disc, memory card, music register, USB, you know, Bluetooth audio, etc. Um, I can also go over to the steering wheel here and press the Bluetooth button, or excuse me, the talk switch, and uh, tell the radio what I'd like it to do. 95.5. And the radio will change stations to the station I just asked it to pick. <clears throat> I can also go back to and press the talk switch. Navigation. And it'll pull up the navigation menu. So, uh, you know, it, it takes a little time, but after you get used to it, I think it's a pretty user-intuitive system. And, um, you know, I think it's uh, pretty nice to use. I have some experience with BMW's iDrive. I prefer this system. So, uh, again, this is just a brief overview. The system does a lot more than what I'm showing it doing. Um, but I just want to give you uh, kind of a brief sense of what all can be done with it. And, um, again, I think it's pretty impressive stuff. 96.3. And uh, please come back for more videos. Thanks.